closing our eyes, getting comfortable, sinking down into the mat, letting our feet be comfortably apart from each other and flop into the side. Just let them flop to each side. Arms comfortably apart from the body with palms open up to the sky or the ceiling. Letting every part of the back sink in. And closing our eyes, we're just gonna draw some deep breaths to the nose, inhaling and exhaling. Trying to be present without any thoughts or thinking about what happened earlier or what will happen tomorrow. We're just being here in the moment, relaxing, getting ready for our practice, bringing body and mind together, and congratulating ourselves for being here today and doing this practice. So we're gonna draw our knees up and we're gonna bring them into our chest. And roll gently side to side, sway side to side, giving yourself a hug, relaxing the back, massaging the back. And then we are going to extend the left leg down, placing the heel down, and interlacing our fingers onto the shin, right shin. We're just gonna draw the right knee towards our right shoulder, giving it pressure and aiming it toward the shoulder. Trying to relax the shoulders and bring them down, not punch them into our neck. And on the next breath, just switch leg and bring the left knee towards that left shoulder. And placing the heel down on that right foot. Nice leg extended. Now we're gonna switch a little faster with our breath. So inhaling, exhale when you bring it in. And inhale as you switch. And exhale as you draw that knee in. Keep switching at your own pace, following your breath, relaxing into the mat. Only our legs are working here, stretching our arms too. Let's do two more on each side. And let's bring those knees back into our chest, both knees. Let's extend our legs to the ceiling, straight up, and let's place our arms to the sides. Open wide to the sides. And we're just gonna point and flex those ankles, those toes. So we're working our ankles, our feet, our toes. So point the toes and flex. Keep going. At the same time as you extend those legs long and reaching, breathing. Two more. And now we're gonna point again and turn that right ankle clockwise six times. And count the clock for us six times. So keep going. When you're done, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're lifting our left leg and keeping that right knee bent, pointing the toes. I'm oh, sorry, both legs are up. <laughs> Lean both them, both them up and left foot. 
is going flexing and working six times or eight, I believe I did maybe so let's do eight times. And leaving the toes pointed, we're gonna now circle the ankle clockwise six times. And other side, six times, same thing. Clock, counter clock. And let's bring those knees down. Let's place those feet down. And let's cross your right ankle on top of the left knee and open the right knee to the side. So the left ankle is on top of that left knee. Opening with the hand, the right hand, pressing into the right inside of the knee. Opening the hip. So we're gonna thread the needle. So we're gonna lift our end, uh, eye of the needle here. So we're lifting that left foot up and we're reaching behind the knee and placing our fingers. We're leaving that head down, shoulders down, of course. And we're gonna bring that left knee left leg towards our chest as we continue to open the right leg with our elbow pressing into the right knee. That's if you want a little more. If not, you can totally just stay pressing that knee open to the side. And then when you're ready, if you want still a little more, you can extend that left leg up to the ceiling and bring that knee. Continue pressing that leg in, up and towards the chest. And slowly bring it down. Now cross the right leg completely over the left. As if you're sitting cross leg. And then lift those feet off the mat and Placing your hands on the shins, bring those legs close to your chest, as close as you can. Again, you stop again. You should feel that in that hip, the right hip. If you want a little more, you can place your, hip, uh, your hands on your ankles, opposite ankles separating them a little bit apart from side to side. Or you can also bring your index finger and thumb around the big toes and press it into this way. However, you want to do it today, whatever you can reach without lifting our shoulders off the mat is what's most important. And then we're just gonna bring those feet down. And on crossing the leg, we are going to do the same on the other side. So I'm relating my left ankle onto the right knee and pressing my left knee to the left with the left hand, pressing it down. Giving it some stretch. And breathing as always. And when you're ready, if you want more, lift that right foot off the mat, reach inside. Interlacing our finger behind the right knee and prodding that knee open, left knee open with our elbow as we bring that right leg in. And I'm sure you should be feeling in your left hip. Great stretch. If you want more, still, you can also straighten that right leg to the ceiling. And then slowly, we're gonna bring it down gently and cross the leg again completely, the left over the right. 
and lift those knees, placing the hands on the shins or on the ankles, on the feet, on or the toes, however you want to do that. Just press those knees into your chest. Those legs into your chest. Feeling it in the left hip now. And breathe. Slowly unwind the legs. On the crossing, we are going to do a bridge flow. So we're going to place our hands here to our sides and getting those feet and uh, close to the hips. And they're not touching, the knees are not touching, but they're pretty close together. And the back is nice and flat. Get started. And then we're going to lift on the inhale the hips, low back, mid back. And then we're going to get on top of those shoulder blades, bringing those arms maybe a little more under, and just stretching that belly up, squeezing the glutes and the quads in our bridge pose and breathing. Long inhales and exhales. And then slowly, we're going to bring it down. Now we're going to do a bridge flow. So we're going to come up again in our bridge, lifting up slowly, gently, till we get all the way up. And on the, we inhale as we do this. As we exhale, we're going to bring the bridge down, the hips down, and bring the arms up to the sky. And then as we land our bridge down. We're going to bring those arms back and overhead, stretching to the back wall. So let's do that again. We're going to inhale. As we bring the bridge up, we're going to bring those arms up to the sky and place them down as we press it all the way up to our sides. And exhaling. Bring the hips down, the arms up and back, all the way back, stretching, give it a stretch, your reach back, and inhale, arms overhead, coming down, and hips all the way up, give it a squeeze up, and exhale down, bring it back, arms back, and inhale, bridge. Don't forget that squeeze every time you come up. And last time back. And last time up. Let's leave it up there. Interlace your fingers under the bridge and just squeeze our shoulder blades a little bit more together and bring it up even more, squeezing those muscles. And breathing, chin into chest. Hold it for another breath. And letting go, gently, slowly. We're gonna to turn to our side. And we're gonna come up on our knees. And first in table pose, and then bringing those big toes together and opening the knees. We're gonna sit back on our knees. Heels with our hips, but if you want less uh, stress on your knees or your hips, you can leave it up into puppy pose, keeping the hips up, stacking the hands under the forehead and the elbows to the side, each side. If you're in, if you're in child, just extend those arms forward. And if you want support, you don't want to come all the way down and maybe place a block or a pillow again under for a blanket on your forehead. And then we're going to bring our arms around and hug our legs with our arms. And 
Then we're gonna interlace those fingers on top of our, our low back here. And we're gonna make our arms long, reaching back. Then we're gonna lift them to the sky. And then slowly bring it back down. And rest in child. And then we're gonna come up on our, on our to our table pose again. And we're gonna do cow cow. So let's take a deep breath. And exhale, round the back, press into the hands, into the mat, chin to chest. Inhale, hips back, shoulders down, head up, crown the head up, flexing that spine. And exhale, cap, round the back, chin to chest, pushing into the hands and into the mat. Inhale, cow. Just flex the spine, don't be shy. Follow your breath, your own pace. Let's do about three more. And last one. Inhale, cow. Exhale, calf. And come back to your table. And from here, we're going to do spine, spine, uh, spinal balance. So we're going to stay in that table pose. And we're going to bring your left leg back. And then we're going to raise it level with the spine, flexing the foot. And we're going to right, once you've got your balance, right, raising our right arm, reaching with the fingertips forward. Perfectly balanced, looking down so we don't strain our neck. And we're gonna bring it down and do the same thing on the other side. Right leg back, lift it up, flex the foot and reaching with our left hand forward, breathing. Reach those fingertips forward and that heel back. Exhale down. We're going to switch side to side, following our breath. Inhaling, reaching, exhaling down. Inhaling, reaching, exhaling down. Keep going side to side, follow your breath. And really reach wall to wall. All right, we're gonna do one more time on each side. And let's sit back in child pose. From here, we're gonna do a, what I call a half series. So I think we may have done it in the first class I don't remember anymore. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, so we're gonna come up on our knees, knee, and we're doing a deep plank, and we're just warming up and stretching our arms here. So we're gonna do a, a little uh, push up or a chaturanga in yoga language, exhaling down, pushing us back up, and exhaling back in child. Inhaling, knee plank, exhaling. Push up or chaturanga. Inhaling, back up, exhaling in our child pose. Keep going. Inhaling, knee plank, exhaling down. Inhaling, back up, exhaling, child. And again. Exhaling back. One last time. 
Let's leave it up and let's come down again for four push-ups. Four, three, two, and one, and sit back in the shot. Relax. We're going to come back into our table pose. We're going to extend our right arm up. So if you're looking towards me, just do the same as I'm doing. You're facing me. And making space with the other arm. I'm going to thread it under, thread the needle. And place the shoulder down. And the side of the head down. Stretching our shoulders, our sides, and breathe. And then slowly retreat the arm and other side. Extending the arm up, making the room with the other arm, threading it under, palm up, and side of the head down, shoulder down. Again, if that's too difficult for knees or hips, you can just bring those legs forward with flex feet. If you have this strap nearby, bring it nearby. The strap will bend. We're going to start with a deep breath and exhale. Heart center, and again, deep breath, heart center. Let's bring your right hand, or just if you're mirroring me, I guess it's your opposite hand, just do the same I'm doing, facing me, bringing the hand here to the side, bending the elbows, the elbow back, and turning the chest upward, and bring the other arm up, over, and looking up towards the ceiling. And coming back to the center, we're going to do the same thing to the other side. If you're hearing a dog, he, but that's my dog, he's very sick right now. <laughs> I need to be trying to take care of him. I'm trying to put the music a little louder, hopefully you can't hear him. And slowly bring it back. to center. And now we, uh, this is where we need this band, or not, depending on your level of flexibility. So bringing this arm up and just mirror me, bringing the elbows here by the side of your head and, and to the middle of, you know, between those shoulder blades. I'm going to show you from the back. So you can try to just Hook your fingers together, reaching those hands. And if you can't, then just use the band or the strap and try to work those hands so that you can reach together. So you bring this arm as high as you can and then the other arm as low as you can to bring it together. Put them together. So breathe into that. And then let go. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. 
taking a breath and bringing the arm down and over and reaching the other arm to the side. If you kind of extend it, it helps to give it a little more length and then bend it and upward. Trying to meet those fingers together or reach those fingers together. Hook those fingers together. And breathing. And then we're going to let it go. Our last seated pose today, placing one hand onto the knee. And I'm sorry, opposite hand to knee. Inhaling with your arm up for left and then placing it back and twisting to the side and looking back. Breathing tall chest, so we're lifting from the waist and shoulders down. And slowly coming back to center, placing the left hand or the up, right hand or left hand, whichever. <laughs> Just mirror me on the knee. Inhaling up and placing it back. Boom, reaching up with the from the waist here. And tall chest and turning around. Breathing. And coming back. We're going to go into a gate pose. So we're going to come over into, I'm going to do it from the side. And placing one, or maybe the front will be better. Placing on my knee, extending the leg, and then support here with the opposite arm and lift to the sky. If you want more, you can bring that leg up. It's a little more, a little harder on the hip, so if you don't, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Listen to your body, I always say. So you can either just lay it down or bring it up. And breathe and looking towards the sky. And coming back gently on your knees. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. Pretty supporting ourselves here. And on up. And again, if you want to, lift the head back as well. Up to you. And what you feel today. What your body will let you do today. Excuse me. So we're reaching, our arms are stacked. Looking up, breathing. And slowly coming back. Let's rest here for a couple, some breaths here in China. From the front, I think it might be easier for you to follow. So we're going to extend the leg forwards. So just mirror me again. And we're going to bring our fingertips down to the mat, pushing that leg back. And first, we're going to do a knee lunge. So we're going to bring those arms up, reaching forward, away from the ears. Or you can also bring in more in front if it's aggravating your shoulders. Reaching and looking up. Breathing. And we're gonna bring that down. I'm placing here my hand inside my the opposite hand to the knee inside, flat down, 
turning my chest to the same side as the neck bent knee. I reach up with the other arm and look it up. Look up. It's a great stretch. And then bringing that down and roll onto that, uh, that heel and straighten that leg. You can either bring those fingertips down or you can reach down the leg, the toes, however you want to do that today. You should feel a nice stretch into that back leg. And breathing. And again, coming back into that lunge. Now push back on that back leg, push back and down. And inch, I hope you're mirroring me so you just go to the, this way, like I'm going, inching my foot to the side as the knee comes down, as you can see, and placing that down, the knee, the foot should be to the side as much as possible, not like right under you. And then if you have a block, if you might be easier to rest on the block than coming all the way down, or here are your options. The easiest one, if you have any pain in your knee from this, is to do scissors. Nice and relaxed, falling to the side so you don't have as much pressure on your knee. If you want, the second one would be to just stay up here, second modification. Third, easiest. I mean, harder <laughs> on your elbows and bringing the head down. And uh, the last one, or you can use a block or a pillow or a blanket here or all the way down, forehead down to the mat. So we're just relaxing to that pose as much as we can. Uh, we should just feel it on that hip. If you're feeling in the knee at all, you have to come down from that, maybe lay on your back beside the scissors. You shouldn't have any aches in your knee, maybe some stress, but no aching. And relax the jaw. And let's keep that breath going. Relaxing every area where you feel discomfort or tension in your face or in your shoulders. Just relax into the mat. Breathe into the tension, breathe into those muscles. And finally, we're gonna go into that scissor pose. So just lean to the side. And we're gonna swing that back leg around to the front and tuck our foot into the thigh. Flexing the foot, we're going to inhale and exhale. So we should feel a nice opening here and a nice stretch into the other leg, extended leg. Breathing. So let's do another breath because when we breathe and then we exhale and leaving the air out, it just creates a little more space so we can reach a little further maybe. So it doesn't matter where you reach today, it could be your calf, it could be the ankle or the toes, whatever. Nobody's looking at you, you can do as you please, no comparison, no expectation. Every day is different. All right, coming back up, we're gonna unwind this leg. We're gonna stretch those legs, yeah, you know, shake it. And we're gonna do all of that onto the other side. Bringing the other foot, leg forward, extending your back leg. And again, if you wanna stay on your fingers, 
here, if that's enough for you. Oh no, we didn't, we didn't start with pigeon. We started with inhaling up into our low lunge, looking up to the sky. And again, you can also bring those arms to the side or forward if there's too much tension here. Breathing. And exhaling down. Placing here the opposite arm that's inside the leg, turning the chest to the side and lifting that other arm straight up. Looking up and breathing. And slowly bring it down. All right, next, we're gonna pivot on that heel as we straighten the leg and roll back with our hips. And if that's enough for you to be here, you wanna keep your fingertips down, go ahead. If you wanna reach for the leg or the toes, which demands a little more work and balance. And breathe into it, whoops. And coming back to our lunge, pressing that back leg as far back as we can. If you want, I will show you from the side this time. So you see I'm pressing that leg back and then inching that foot to the side and letting that knee fall and then going down from here. So again, you can go into scissor if you want to, or stay on your elbows, coming all the way down on your forehead. It's all up to you, however your body's feeling. But just make sure you relax into the pose. Finding discomfort and breathing into it. Releasing the jaw and the facial feature, the shoulders. Just release. Breathing into it. And then letting those hips fall to the side. Gently. Bring that back leg around to the front again and placing the other foot inside the thigh. Flexing. Let the foot. And once we found our place, inhaling up for length, exhaling down for more stretch. Breathing into it. Again, let's take a deep breath in for length and exhaling down. And coming up, let's extend the legs, flexing the feet, inhaling, sitting on top of those sit bones, inhaling, exhaling forward. Again, you can reach, however, if you want to strap, and reach this way, that's fine. Walking down. All optional. And slowly come up. We're going to do a wide seated position, wide legs on the long side of the mat, and placing those hips down slowly so that we are on top of those sit bones. And here again, if you wish to use a strap. It can be done without a strap, but it's up to you. Um, we're going to start with bringing our hand here alongside the side of the leg and with the palm up. 
and then we're going to look up and then bring the other arm down so that the modification or the help that you can get from the strap here is putting it under the foot and then placing it in one hand, that hand with the palm up, then twisting to the side and bringing the other arm overhead. Just reaching for that stuff kind of helps you pressing down a little more. Keeping both feet flexed. And then slowly come up and turning towards that same leg. We're gonna, you can again walk down the strap or the band. Watch yourself with chest right over the leg, or you can just do it without the strap. It's optional. But I like that little pull I can give it and to bring myself down a little more with a nice straight back. Just keeping in mind to keep that back nice and straight. And then slowly walk yourself back. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Starting with hand, palm up, grabbing the strap, and turning your chest up, arm up and overhead. Let me just calm down the music a little bit. You guys stay in that position, breathe into it. That one just tends to come up a little louder. Reaching and looking up and then turning towards that leg and bringing yourself down. If you don't use a strap, just inhale and then come down. I can hear my dog more than you can hear. <laughs> All right, inhaling and exhaling as you go. Working it, working yourself down. And slowly coming up. Let's do a butterfly, seated butterfly bringing the sole of the feet together and bringing the elbows into those knees and separating the legs as much as we can. And if you want a little more, you can bring yourself further down, making sure that back is staying nice and flat and we're not rounding the back over. We're reaching up and over. All right, and let's bring ourselves here to the side, for me anyway, so you can see me. And let's do fish pose. Pointing those feet, sliding those hands down as much as you need to in order to Bend that leg, back, that head back, and reach the crown of the head down to the mat. Breathing. And then let go down. And let's proceed to some gentle yoga abs, just so that we keep that core nice and tight and strong. Because in yoga, we believe that the core is really what is making all that balance and that strengthening possible. And posture as well, keeping a good posture, having a good core, strong core will help that. All right, so we're gonna raise those 
knees, 90 degrees, feet and hips. Bring our arms, hands, elbows to side, hands on either side of the head. And we're just gonna raise and lower. Just crunches, easy little crunches. So exhale into the crunch, inhaling back. Breathing. And let's go a little faster. Eight, seven, six. Keep those elbows nice and wide. Five. Chin into chest. Four. Three. Two. And one. And now we're gonna go just do a side ab a little bit. So extend one leg as you bring elbow outside in. You didn't know it was going to make you work out, but it, we're going to do it very slow, very gentle. Very slow, very gentle, just straighten that leg as we bring and then bring it in as you go side to side, bringing that elbow outside the knee. And especially breathing. Just working your side out. All right, one more on each side. And bring yourself down. We're gonna do another pose for your abs today. I don't believe we've done it in this series yet. I think you're gonna like it. It's a little challenging, but it's a great pose and great for your abs. It's called boat pose. So we're gonna bring those knees in and bring our hands under the knees. And one, two, three, roll back and come up on your tush. Now, you can bring those hands down if it's too much. If you cannot, if this is too much, here are the three modifications. This, with knee bend, palms down by your hips. Second one is arms up, legs folded. Third and hardest is everything extended in both poses. You don't, just don't force it, do what you can today. We breathe, we look up, letting all those good things fall down to our belly. And then we're gonna do V-ups, just eight of them. Eight, you can do them like this, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, strengthen your core. Come all the way down, hug yourself, and massage the back. So we have five minutes before we go to our rest pose. So let's do some side stretches, which is great after everything we've done. Let's extend our arms to the side and extend your right leg down. Bring the left knee up and place the right hand onto the outside of the left knee. And cross that leg over the right and look back to the other side over the shoulder, keeping both shoulders down on the mat. It doesn't matter how far that knee comes, over, comes down. What's most important is those shoulders back down on the mat, breathing, looking to the side. A scared feeling, but slightly to the side. And then slowly come up, back down, and then bend the right knee, extend the left leg. Bring that right knee in, left hand outside of the right knee, extend the right arm to the side and cross the right to the left, looking over the right shoulder and breathing. Good. 
Let it go. Let go the tension. And coming back in the middle. We're going to bring the sole of the shoe together and the knees to the side. And we're going to do a bridge butterfly. So bring those arms to the side again. You can tuck them under a little bit. Palms down and lift the hips up in your beautiful butterfly bridge. Breathe into it. And slowly bring it down, gently. And bring the knees together. Bend your knee and extend your feet to the side of the mat, on either side of the mat. And arms wide to the side. Let's do windshield wiper. Just letting those knees go. Right. As you leave those shoulders down to the mat. Knees back together, inhaling, knees to the left, exhaling as the chest kind of turns automatically to the opposite side. Inhaling, knees together, let them fall to the right. Follow your own breath and just rock yourself gently. Not a care in the world. Letting go of all that tension again. This is your time to relax now. It's just let it go and just gently go with the move, the movement. For our relaxation today, I'd like to give you an option that I find very soothing. So bring your knees back together, your feet back together. Let's give ourselves a hug. Again, before we get into our relaxation for five minutes. So, here's what I can, you can do if you have a wall nearby. You bring your hips to the side like this. I'm doing like right against the wall. And then you turn, bring your legs up, you turn towards the wall and bring your legs up. So your hips should be as close to the wall as possible. And then you just let your arms go to the side. So this is a great way of doing Shavasana. Great way for circulation and relaxation. So if you want, that's an option. If not, just stay where you are. And just, as we started, let those feet flop to the side. Arms wide open, or not all the way wide, but comfortably apart from the body with the palms up and letting everything sink down to that mat. And closing your eyes. I think I'm gonna give you a little different music tonight, something a little reinforcing. Uh, mind reinforcing, hopefully you like it. Letting everything sink down, forgetting about everything else for the moment that you've earned right now. Closing your eyes, concentrating on your relaxation. Nothing else. Releasing tension from all and every single muscle in your body. Thank you. 
start wiggling your toes and stretching your feet to the front of the room as you bring your arms up and overhead and give yourself a deep, long stretch. And when you're ready, slowly, gently, turn to your side, bring your knees in and arms in and fiddle pose. And when you're ready again, just come up and see the pose gently. And I will read the text of the day. Let's give yourself, yourself a long breath first, inhaling and exhaling heart center. And actually, I don't need my glasses. We do not always like what is good for us in the world. Our personal vision is narrow and limiting. We can't really imagine what's in store for us. The most we can do is trust that our experiences have our best interest in tow. I'll remember, today I'm a student and my experiences are my teacher. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you. Uh, and it's the end of the series, but I really enjoy having you with me. Thank you. And have a fabulous day. Namaste.